So here we are at SIGGRAPH 2011. The show is over and it's finally quiet. Go on, Aaron. Tell me, what is OpenRL all about? Well, OpenRL is a, an API for programming ray tracing, um, very similar to OpenGL. In fact, we took the OpenGL ES 2.0 API and changed it a little bit, took a few things out, added a few things to, um, to basically customize it for ray tracing. And this, yeah. Okay, can you show me something? What, sure. What so, can you build on this? Well, we have a few sample applications here, some really simple stuff. Um, your typical ray trace Cornell box. So we see refractive ball, reflective ball. Um, I can flip through a few more scenes in this. This is a just a simple demoing tool that we use. Fantastic. Yeah. We need, we need to create and what's the plan for OpenRL? Is, is it an open standard now? It's not yet an open standard, but we are working with Kronos. Um, we're, we fully intend for it to be an open standard. We think it's important for the ecosystem of this API for it to be implemented by several vendors and to, to get input from many different companies in the industry. Um, so right now, what we we have the only implementation of it, and it's running. Um, this demo here is running on Intel CPUs, uh, 12 core Westmere. Um, but we also um, support custom hardware that we've built, um, and we also can use take advantage of GPUs that are in the system. Okay, and other people are using this API to build applications as well, right? That's correct. So. Am I right in thinking this is this is one right here? That's right. This is the uh, the Brazil renderer, which has had fame, a lot of fame over the years, and um, the, the the Brazil community sort of perceived it as end of life a few years ago. But the original Brazil team, which we are lucky to have in our company, um, has built a new version of Brazil, Brazil three, that we've announced uh, at SIGGRAPH 2011. On Brilliant. top of OpenRL, so all of the uh, the custom hardware support and efficiency that we built into OpenRL, Brazil is now going to see that. Uh, okay, cool. And so, so there's Brazil, but um, what else? I mean, are, is it only captive customers who are doing this, or is anybody else building anything on OpenRL? They're right in thinking there's there's something pure light. Yes, pure light is one. Um, Lightworks is working is using uh, OpenRL. Uh, actually, they're they're working with Brazil. Yeah, brilliant. Um, to to integrate it into some of their their rendering. Um, cool. Okay, well that's good. Yeah. Um, I'm sure it's going to go from strength to strength, and hopefully things will work out, and uh, OpenRL will be the basis of lots of other applications in the future. Yeah, it's right now. Those are a lot of high-level rendering sort of applications, but. To be honest with you, we started this whole thing up because we wanted ray tracing to get into games. Right. And so we're going to see some of that as as the API progresses and the technology gets faster and cheaper and more power efficient and all that sort of thing. Brilliant. So. Thank you very much, Aaron. You're welcome. Bye.